The back and forth between IHOP KC and the Advocate Group, it's been going on for months. And there has been multiple times where, you know, the talks have just broke down and then started up again. And, you know, it just it's gone back and forth. But recently, it seemed as though the Advocate Group and IHOP KC were going to reach an agreement on a third party investigation because the Advocate Group was talking about how they were actually going to crowdfund this entire thing, telling IHOP KC, don't worry about it. There's enough people out there that want to see this investigation take place. They even got a new lawyer, that being the advocate group. But now it appears, this is according to Dwayne Roberts, who is a member of the advocate group and former IHOP KC leader, that these talks may now be permanently dead. What happened? We're going to get into all of it here in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story. How did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? I made a video that explains it all. You'll find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. A few different ways you could do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video here. Or you can join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Joining Patreon, you get all the videos before they hit the main YT platform. With that, some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss. Plus, you guys can comment censorship free. You can even send me DMs. Check it out. I think you'll like the platform. Patreon.com slash news. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So this announcement by Dwayne Roberts is extremely concerning and disappointing because, again, it appeared as though the advocate group was going to crowdfund this because there's so many people that were willing to give money to this whole thing to really finally you know, put an end to all of our questions, not just into Mike Biggle, but, you know, the operation of the entire organization, you know, the financials, all of that. We've all been wanting to know, you know, where's all this money going to? And it's wise people like Stuart Greaves, when they were there, they were doing everything in their power to make sure that a real third party didn't take place because they know that it would go far beyond just Mike Biggle. And well, now these talks, according to Dwayne Roberts, may be permanently dead. And this is the reason why. Very recently, this all came together to, just in, in the same week here. Shane Holden came out. Shane Holden is uh, the pastor of First Free Church in Wisconsin. And he came out. This was during the week of April 22nd. He came out and he announced that he was a member of the board at IHOP KC, but that he was resigning his position from the board. Now, he had only been on the board since around November of 2023. This was about just a few weeks after the allegations against Bickle came out. He talked about how Stuart Greaves had wanted him to be a part of the board and, and said, look, we respect you. We think that also you could help be a mediator between the advocate group and IHOP KC leaders because he has friends on both sides. And that's something that Holden uh, did admit to uh, during his interview where he went public here with his resignation. Now, Holden talked about, you know, being involved in hours of conversation with both sides. He addressed the recent lawyer that the advocate group had gotten, which he said is a very smart individual, was apparently a female. And if, again, if it was going to be crowdfunded, they were, they were going to take care of everything. But it all broke down. Holden, not liking how IHOP KC announced that they were going to be closing up shop, but then later saying that they were going to be restructuring and reorganizing and admitting that they're trying to escape liability, that they're trying to protect the assets. Holden said he did not like that. And no longer could he, you know, be a part of this. He had to get out. And so with his resignation, this has now brought Dwayne Roberts back into the mix. And he posted on his social media that he had very high hopes that the third party investigation would get done. But he admitted that now with the resignation of Shane Holden, he says, I'll admit, he goes, I've talked to Shane for hours a day trying to get this third party investigation off and running. But he said, with Holden's resignation, what it shows me 
is that either IHOP KC has been lying to us the entire time about, you know, actually wanting to come to some sort of a, a resolution on this, you know, or they had nefarious plans all along. He, he said, this doesn't look good because you got a board member here, again, who was specifically brought on to be a mediator. And now that he is gone, there's really nobody there that's left to really try and be, you know, the, the middleman here in this whole operation. And this is something else that Holden said during his interview that, you know, the general consensus amongst those that are still at IHOP KC, not all of them, but for many, is that, look, we've already permanently separated from Bickle. You know, we're, 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 we're restructuring, we're reorganizing. See, we're already moving on. The healing can be this way. No, but that's not how it works. And Dwayne Roberts said this in his post that, you know, it looks like IHOP KC, again, because we're right back to this, is, is more concerned about protecting a ministry than they are actual the victims that are looking for, you know, for restitution here and, and genuine repentance and all of that. So what was, again, it seemed like the investigation was was going to start. Now it looks like it may be permanently dead. Whatever happens, it's important to note this. That all of these people who call themselves leader within IHOP KC, whatever sort of justice they may escape on earth, they will not escape it before the Lord. They are held to a higher account and they are going to have to answer for every decision that they have made throughout this entire process. You know, I, I think back to the verse, you know, for what does it profit a man to gain the entire world and lose their soul? I wonder if that's something that these leaders at IHOP KC really think about. But I want to hear from you. You can let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think that the real third-party investigation is ever going to happen at this point? Where do you see this all going? Let me know. What I want to do right now is something I do on all these videos. Let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church, exposing the false prophets, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. So... For anybody watching now, if you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin not just to say you're sorry and jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash news, or just hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk. Listen.